Welcome to A Day in the Life of My Dogs. Max, a 120 pound, 11 year old Great Pyrenees, Scooby, a almost two year old Pitbull Brindle mix, and Walter, who is a mix of some sort of terrier and maybe a bunch of other things and is seven years old. And they are so glad that you're here. Now, our days start pretty early. The dogs go downstairs to go outside, and this is because Max can't really navigate the deck stairs anymore, so we have to go down the carpeted basement stairs. We make a lot of accommodations for our elderly dog, and we are happy to do it. Scooby, on the other hand, is always ready to rock and roll, and Walter kind of falls somewhere in between. <laughs> Scooby's ready for the day to begin and is wondering if I could maybe get my act together because the next activity is one that he and Walter are particularly fond of. Wait for it. That's right, it is morning treat time. It's amazing to me how quickly Scooby got into the rhythm of this. He is my son's dog, but he is now fully integrated into our pack. You guys always ask me, why doesn't Walter get walked? Well, Walter's got some walking anxiety. We can only get him to go to the end of the block and then he pulls to go back and he cries. So we usually just exercise him by running him around the backyard, which works pretty well because he's got short little legs. But yeah, walking is just really not his favorite thing. it's the time of the day when I usually have my breakfast and some coffee and we just settle in on the couch. Sometimes I even look at the news and I'll tell you when you read the news anymore it's really nice to have these little dogs to help you with perspective. Okay, now it's work time for me, and I don't know why, but these dogs love to be up with me in my office when I'm in there working. I had Scooby at my feet, Walter cuddled up in his bed, which he didn't love forever, but now he just adores it. And Max, of course, always has to be in his place of honor, up on the bed, which is put there specifically for him. <laughs> It's playtime! These guys, again, running around the backyard, it brings them so much joy. Now, our yard right now, it's winter time, so it's kind of a mess. We've had a lot of rain, but it doesn't mean that the dogs like it any less. Running around, chasing squirrels, chasing toys, just getting some good old fashioned outdoor recess time is the best thing for these wonderful animals. And here comes Walter. He is always excited to join in on the fun, and fortunately, he has learned how to keep from getting trampled.
Okay, it's dinner time. Now we only feed the dogs once a day. They get those treats in the morning and then they get their eyes, uh, small chunks dog food at night. Uh, we do feed them in three different locations. It just seems to cut down on any fighting, although they do seem to still steal each other's food, which is weird. But Max gets special treatment at night. He really struggles staying equal on his legs, even with the stand feeder that we have for him. So in his old age, we have come up with this not so perfect system of literally bringing him his food and you'll see how he sort of gets down into his food which is funny because this is how he would love to eat when he was a puppy and you have to kind of wait to get the bowl in exactly the right spot and uh, as you'll see in a minute he'll adjust it on his own um, you know peers and their appetite is an interesting thing and especially as they age they tend to not want to eat as much so anything we can do there he goes <laughs> anything we can do to accommodate him getting a nice healthy amount of food is always helpful Okay, it is playtime, and I love to watch Scooby and Walter play because obviously Scooby could rip that out of Walter's mouth anytime he wanted, but they both really learned how to play nicely together. And it's really great because it keeps me from having to play with Scooby and it keeps Walter from bugging me and everybody gets good exercise and good quality interaction. And this is part of the best benefits of having a pack of dogs. They're a lot of work, but they really do entertain each other. In the evenings, we usually all watch TV as a family and the dogs will come in and they love this time because everybody's in one place, which means they can get lots and lots of snuggles. And this is a time when Scooby usually likes to climb up on the couch and um, yeah, it's, it's just kind of a, a big old love fest. And don't worry about Walter, he's waiting his turn, but he'll get his pets soon enough. I know I'm not alone in saying that our animals have really gotten us through this difficult time. Having these guys to care for and that need me every day really helps with the Groundhog Day feeling of it, doesn't it? Having them to love and them to love us back has been such a joy. And we've always loved our pets, but boy, we have appreciated them now, I think, more than ever. From Max, Walter, Scooby, and me, whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.